Good morning, good morning. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful Friday. Out here enjoying God's beautiful creation. Hope y'all are doing well. Today, we are, can you guess it? Checking traps. That's right. We are checking traps today, and we are also, you can see behind me, we have the uh, spreader back there. So it's feed line day. Trying to give these turkeys and the quail just something extra. You know, we won't get those numbers built up. And y'all haven't seen much of it yet because of the season that we're in, but this property puts a lot of time, uh, effort, money into creating an environment that is productive for those animals, for quail, for turkey. And this is a way to draw those animals in, especially uh, the quail. You, you want to give them a nice, safe environment, you know, and to draw them in, this, this is just one of the things. You give them low predator threat, as low as you can, and you give them a nice safe place to nest and you feed them. So this is just a little bit that we do and we're having results. So we're gonna spread a little seed out today, give these quail something to munch on. And while we're out here, we're gonna check on some traps. Trying to go slow through this water because y'all can see that it rained a little bit last night. And I'm trying to go slow so I can look on the edges right here to see if I can see any traffic. And if I don't go slow, all the water from my cart washes over the, uh, the tracks and I can't see what's been through here. So a second ago, I thought I saw a cat track, but not exactly sure because the water and mud washed over it and covered it up. So. I'm just looking guys, and this kind of work, it pays to be observant. If you're not slowing down, I've said it before, if you ain't slowing down to look at the signs that the animals are leaving you, then you're doing the property a disservice and you're doing your customer a disservice. All right, so we just rolled up on the creek and the creek is passable, excellent. If y'all watched uh, any videos of mine, y'all know that <laughs> this creek can be unpredictable. And this creek feeds into a larger river downstream. And then that river, which is a pretty big river itself, it, uh, it is influenced by some uh, dams and everything. So even when we don't have rain, sometimes this creek it's backed up really bad. So I'm just trying to take my time getting across here. So I got this spreader behind me. We're just going slow, taking it easy. We don't want to mess nothing up. Yeah, just looking for tracks, looking for tracks. Plenty of deer tracks, we don't mind them. Definitely don't mind them. But like I said, it's Friday. Are enjoying the day, a beautiful day. Looking forward to the weekend. Oh, speaking of the weekend, we have a, a little work day at church tomorrow, so I'm going to clean it up some uh, 
debris the church had some, uh, several a lot of trees cut down so some of the people from the church are getting together and we're gonna clean that up and I'm gonna be taking my dump trailer up there to load all that in and haul it off and I'm really happy and proud that I'm able to do that um, that I have I, I have the the ability to help so I want to give back and do that so I'm I'm really excited about being able to help out but anyway we on the line here and we're gonna start uh putting this feed out we're gonna get a little further up the road we're gonna put this feed out and we're gonna be checking traps what a beautiful day beautiful day what what does a friday look like for y'all what does a Friday look like for y'all? Do y'all look forward to the weekend? Do you have to work on the weekends? I can tell you that I, I did not used to, Friday wasn't any different for me a lot of times because I was on ship work and stuff. So Friday didn't really, it didn't make a difference because uh, half the time I had to work the next day anyways. I had to work weekends and nights and all that good stuff. So, it is a nice change of pace now being able to look forward to friday and look forward to the weekend now i still do some of my own stuff on the weekends i do that pretty frequently i do it a lot um but i'm able to involve my kids in that my family in that so it's not bad at all not bad at all but i hope that fridays are good for y'all i hope y'all are able to look forward to the weekend and uh if you can't look forward to the weekend, you no, know, you have a job that seems to drain you mentally and physically. Because once it starts to drain you mentally, it will start to drain you physically. I mean, I can tell you all about that. Um, so I guess what I'm getting at is you don't, you don't have to stay there. It may seem like you're stuck, but there's more than likely some things you could do to get unstuck. You may have to sacrifice. It may not be easy. It wasn't easy for me or my family. It still ain't. Uh, leaving a six-figure job, you know, with a retirement and a 401k, a retirement and a 401k. You don't find them much anymore. Uh, so, I mean, I left a lot, but I mean, I've, I've gained a lot. So, anyways, there's your positive note going into the weekend. Y'all can make a change. Anyway, here we go. That's what they like. Well, that's what they like. So we're going to open it up just a little bit. Ain't got to be a lot. Make sure we're not plugged up up under here. Got a little bit of a plug. So we'll see how that goes. We're just going to ride down the trail. Let y'all see what it looks like. trying to get a nice cover on the ground oh some nice coverage and they can find it buddy you can they can find it i'll see them on camera you may think it'd be hard for them birds to spot that little grain down in the grass or whatever but they can find it so it ain't got to be a lot just a little bit man it's a beautiful day spring is right around the corner uh, we are at the end of February now, and in Alabama, uh, the, your temperatures, weather changes all the time. I mean, all the time. We, the biggest, one of the biggest snows that we've had in Alabama, I think it was in March. Might have been in April. Might have been in April. That was like 30 years ago. Uh, it, it was a late season snow, so even though we in the end, kind of in the end of the winter it still could get colder but what i was getting at is spring is right around the corner and stuff is starting to get green again you got flowers popping up and i'm looking forward to that time change guys that time change i hate it when it gets dark at five o'clock that just sucks 
So I will be happy to get that time change where we can have a little bit of light. Turn this off. We're going to check our trap over here. So you pull up and cuts it off. There's a trap right there. So we're going to put some fresh bait in that. But look at that. Ain't that beautiful? Beautiful. Not exactly sure what these flowers are called, but I've been watching them all week. And they are really starting to pop. Really starting to pop. Plenty of deer tracks out right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. We're going to keep checking traps. We're going to keep putting this uh, feed out on the feed line. And if uh, I might bring y'all back in a little bit. I don't know. Depends on how the day goes. If we catch anything. But let's see what we got. Y'all be good. One of the things that we've started doing is uh, putting our putting our bait in these cans. I saved these these cans from the house and brought them out here with uh, the idea of it would keep the bait drier than just putting a handful in the back of the cage. That's what we used to do, and also it keeps it dry. And also, let's see if you can go. Yeah, you see all them ants down in there. Fire ants are real bad around here. And they will just mess up your bait real bad. But when it's in a can, all you got to do is chunk it, knock, knock the ants out, get you a fresh scoop, and put it back in the trap. Knock them out. Got a couple in there. Boom. Clean. It ain't got to be a lot, just a little bit. I ran out of the bait that I was using. I just posted a video of how much success I'm having with uh, the other bait that I was using, the Lucky Charms and all that good stuff. And nah, that's floating fish feed. So in the bait that I was making, I was putting, I wasn't really making it, I was just mixing it up. Oh man, let's see if I can roll that back here. Yeah. There we go. With the bait that I was making, I put Lucky Charms. I like the Lucky Charms cause it's got a marshmallows in it. And I know that these critters, let's get this on flat ground, flatter ground. I know that these critters, they like marshmallows cause I've used marshmallows by themselves before. Got that situated. Make sure there ain't nothing gonna be in front of the gate when it comes down. That little bit of grass ain't gonna be be no problem. But I know these critters like marshmallows because I've used just marshmallows before, and I catch stuff on that. I know that they like uh, the floating fish feed because we've used that before and we've caught stuff on that. So mixing it all together. But adding just a little bit of bacon grease on it or mixing it with bacon grease, man, I'm telling y'all, they tear it up, tear it up. So if you, like I said in uh, the last video I made, one of the last videos, several videos actually, I've said it several times. If you can mix, come up with some kind of mixture. I lost y'all. If y'all can come up with some kind of mixture that is fishy, and sweet and you put the bacon grease on top i mean it's got all kinds of smells i mean they, they love it they love it you're gonna catch possums raccoons and skunks i don't like catching skunks but they on that list of nest raiders so it's good that i'm catching so many uh you, if you come up with some kind of concoction like that and you put it where they're at gonna catch something guys you're gonna catch something 
Alright, we're back on the trail again. So we're gonna open up this gate. Crack it open a little bit. Make sure our gate ain't plugged again with trash. Cause some clunks of dirt can get in there and that's, cause that's too much. Let's see what we're doing. Just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, well, we're gonna get on down the road. Man, it's beautiful out through here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see here. Oh, how about that? Now that is funny because <laughs> I was I, I was gonna I was rolling the video so I could make a point to tell y'all that I ain't gonna just show y'all all my catches, you know. I ain't gonna just show you all my catches. There's a bunch of people on YouTube that show you nothing but their catches. And everything and that's just not how it works with trapping that's not how it works you can do everything right and you still ain't gonna catch anything i mean you'll have tracks going right by your set you just i mean you just never know the thing is about it's about getting that animal to stop you want to give your set as much opportunity as possible and trapping on sign putting your set on sign and using a good bait that just increases your odds of getting that animal to stop. So, I was going to do that and make a point about you don't always catch something. But apparently I picked the wrong set to start the video. Because I got a Mr. Rocky right here. Yeah, he ain't happy. He ain't happy. He hissing at me. But... A real good trap right here. Real good trap. I, I have a pretty good action on this trap right here. And, man, if y'all want to do, get uh, protect your turkeys, protect your quail, and you want to take out these nest raiders, these uh, Duke DPs, man, they're the way to go. They're the way to go. Because they are so easy to put in the ground. I mean, it don't take nothing. I mean, I got two pieces of rebar going in the ground right there. And then you put it full. I mean, you could put any kind of bait you want to in that thing. But I just told y'all what I've been having luck with. And what these animals, what they like. And, I mean, this trap, it, it stays active. I mean, I catch a pretty good bit of raccoons right here. I've never caught a possum right here. Just raccoons. So, we're going to get him taken care of and go on to the next. And even though I couldn't make a point with this video... And tell y'all, y'all won't always catch something. You're not, you're not always going to catch something. So There you go. We're going to get him taken care of. And we're going to move on to the next. Alright guys, I had to end the video pretty quick yesterday. I didn't get to finish. Uh, something came up and I had to leave the property. But uh, we did pretty good yesterday. We got four animals total. And uh, that's what it's all about. Getting them nest raiders down. So... Uh, we're gonna wrap it up here. So y'all be good.